the broadcast ministry of Christ Way Fellowship brings you victory for today. Exalting the Savior, evangelizing the seeker, and equipping the saint. Committed to the principle that you can have victory today and every day through Jesus Christ. Jesus said, I have come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. And now, here's your host, Pastor Wayne Duncan. Well, hello and welcome to Victory for Today. Thank you for tuning in, and if this is your first time to watch Victory for Today, a special welcome to you. This is a weekly half-hour Bible study program on this station at this time. And I hope that if you are blessed by the uh, ministry today, that you'll tune back in next time and also invite someone to uh, watch or listen with you. Uh, we are studying right now, we, when we left the air last week, we were in the book of Romans. And I'd like to go back there to Romans chapter 1. And uh, what we've been uh, thinking about is as we're coming up to this situation on planet Earth that uh, is becoming more and more well known as the New World Order, uh, I'm trying to use Scripture to show us the mentality that is behind the things that are taking place. And, and as we look at Romans chapter 1 and we look at the latter part of that chapter, we begin to see here that that man has made some horrible mistakes, but the big mistake, the first big mistake that man made was not acknowledging God as creator. There came a place in the history of mankind when, some, when a bad decision was made, and I want to just go back here and look at this with you. In verse 18 of chapter 1, the book of Romans, if you have a copy of the word nearby, if you'd open it to that, if you do not have a copy of God's Word. I'm going to tell you how you can get a copy just like the one I'm using today. So you stay tuned for that. Verse 18 says this, For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who suppress the truth in unrighteousness. Because what may be known of God is manifest to them for God has shown it to them, for since the creation of the world, his invisible attributes are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse, because although they knew God, they did not glorify him as God, nor were thankful, but became futile in their thoughts, and their foolish hearts were darkened. Now get this, if this doesn't sound like today. Professing to be wise, they became fools and changed the glory of incorruptible God into an image of made like corruptible man and birds and four-footed animals and creeping things. I'm going to stop right there and just kind of recap what we're looking at. Uh, this, uh, this pagan religion that's being introduced here, this turning away from the one true God, and at this particular early stage of man, uh, turning to the worship of creatures instead of the Creator. Now, we can trace this back probably all the way to Genesis chapter 10, the great-grandson of Noah, Nimrod, uh, it probably was behind uh, this change from the worship of the one true God, acknowledging God as creator and as God, to worshiping creatures, things, birds, it says here, creeping things, four-footed animals, men, you see these uh, from ancient times, these idols that were created and were the object of man's worship. I remember once uh, when I was growing up uh, over in the city of Dallas, going out to the State Fair of Texas one year, and I went, you know, <laughs> kids do at the fair, spent all my money <laughs> real quick <laughs> at the midway. And then I went and looked at exhibits, exhibits after I'd spent all my money. And uh, I, I remember going into uh, one of the museums there, 
And there they had an idol that had been discovered down in Central America many, many, many years ago. And that object, and, and I was about, <clears throat> you know, as far as I am uh, behind the rope, of course, from, from here to the, the camera right here, I was that close to this object of worship. And even as a small boy, young boy, uh, I, 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 I thought about that. My goodness, people used to actually worship this thing. Well, it sure did happen, and it happened all over the world, and people turned from acknowledging God as their creator, the one to whom we all will give an account one day, uh, to other things, and they kind of almost as if they were making it up as they went along. And so you end up with all those, those religions that uh, were part of man's ancient history. But you know what? That didn't end in man's ancient history. We still have false religions, false gospels, which are no gospels at all because gospel means good news, and a false gospel is certainly bad news because a false gospel will condemn you to hell, whereas the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ will lead you to heaven and right relationship with Almighty God. So that's what was going on back then. Let's go ahead now and see what God's response was to that. Therefore, God also gave them up to uncleanness, and the lust of their hearts to dishonor their bodies among themselves, who exchanged the truth of God for the lie, and worshiped and served the creature rather than the creator who is blessed forever. Amen. Verse 26, For this reason God gave them up to vile passions, for even their women exchanged the natural use for what is against nature likewise also men having the natural use uh, leaving the natural use of the woman burned in their lust for one another men with men committing what is shameful and receiving in themselves the penalty of their error which was due verse 28 and even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a debased mind, a depraved mind, to do things which are not fitting. Now, here's some illustrations of the way they behave. We've already looked at some there in chapter 1, verse 27 there about how people behave. But here we go on. They were being filled with unrighteousness, sexual immorality, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, strife, deceit, evil-mindedness. They were whisperers, backbiters, haters of God, violent, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, Un, uh, undiscerning, untrustworthy, unloving, that is without natural affection, unforgiving, unmerciful, who, knowing the righteous judgment of God, that those are, who practice such things are deserving of death, they not only do the same, but also approve of those who practice them. Now this is, this is an echo of what we looked at earlier in this series that we've been in, back over in 2 Timothy chapter 3, where uh, that begins that in the, in the last days, perilous times will come. And the reason for the perilous times is the kind of mentality, the kind of people, of what has, has overtaken the mentality of people in last, the last days. Well, my dear friend, we started off today talking about ancient history, but I think this brings us right up to today. And we see these things are going on all around us as people have turned from the acknowledgement they have rejected God as the creator, 
the one to whom we will all give an account one day. It's like they have accepted that line from the novel by Dostoevsky of uh, uh, the, the fact or the statement was made there that uh, if there is no God, then all things are permissible. Well, my dear friend, that's the way people seem to be living today. Just like there is no God and all things are permissible. Now, that's a large segment of what's going on. And I think in the culture that we live in here in the United States, that's what we're seeing an awful lot of. Not only are things that are mentioned here and elsewhere in the Word of God uh, being being uh, turned upside down and the labels are all being changed what was what is bad is being considered good and what's good is being considered bad in the mind of modern man but it seems that man had just lost his ability to think straight <laughs> doesn't that seem to be the way it is when's the last time you heard a really good idea come out of our leadership in this nation well I, I want to look at this uh, in a detail here in one part where he speaks here in verse 28. You see, there's three places here where it says, God gave them up to, God gave them up to, God gave them over to a debased or a depraved mind. Now, I, I think what, what, what has happened is that because we have turned away from the one true God acknowledging him as our creator and we're trying to sort of go it alone now and uh, this is what's happened is that that we have fallen into this depraved mind I'm speaking about the culture that we're in here's a reminder from uh, Matthew Henry I thought this was appropriate here he says light has come into the world but men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. For he that doeth evil hateth the light. So this is what's basically behind some of the ways that people are thinking today. Their deeds are evil, so they don't want to hear about a, a, a God that is righteous and just, a God that we're going to all give an account to. Remember again, back over in Second Timothy, and as I referred to prior programs like this, please remember that you can view or listen to past programs of Victory for Today by going to our website, which is entitled, just like the program, victoryfortoday.com. And if you go to archives, you'll be uh, taken there to a, a little dialogue box, a little uh, a box that you can go to and scroll down and find I think there's over 200 talks and sermons and, and uh, past programs. Many are, most of them I would say, are video and some are audio. Not only can you listen or watch those as you may choose, you're perfectly, uh, you're perfectly welcome to download those and make you a copy of MP3 or whatever it might be uh, and then take it along with you. Make you a DVD if you want to or a CD. That's fine. You know, there's no... You know, the Lord said, freely you are given, freely give. We don't have any copyright on anything we're doing around here. So if you find something that's helpful to you or think you, that you think might be helpful to someone else, go ahead and make you a copy and uh, share that with them. Be glad for you to do that. So men have come to this place of a depraved mind, a mind that is, as it says here in the New King James Version, debased. I saw or, or heard an interpretation of that the other day that I really liked, and I tried to copy it down, and I think I got it correctly. It's, it, this is sort of the way it went. That means a mind that is incapable of acting in its own best interest. Did you get that? A mind that is incapable of acting in its own best interest. And that's, I believe, where we have come to.